Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue, Toledo, Ohio, 436-17-419-531-6097. I'm a man, not a god, and I will die too. You better believe it. Iron Maiden, Power Slave. Pharaoh Eddie. We got these babies in this week. The regular uh, Iron Maiden, the new wave of Iron Maiden pops should be here soon. Should be soon, but at least we, these came in now. I thought initially they showed that the uh, Eddies were going to be in the corner, but they decided to put him in the middle. Uh, dead center in the middle. There we go. That's, that's how you should be looking up at Eddie. But we got the Eddies there. So up the irons! Yeah, Iron Friggin' Maiden. Now, let's see what else is here. Still waiting on my Penguin Random House stuff, but we got all the rest of the diamond stuff here for the most part. Let's see what's here. What's in this box here? A bunch of crap to get thrown out. A big wasted box here. And then the three. My three 1 in 10 variants on Last Ronin, number five. And it's got Robin right there. Batman and Robin as the Turtles. Now, speaking of Turtles, I saw that next week we're going to have the Casey Jones and the Shredder Pops are coming in. I don't have any of the the other ones here, so I can show you the examples, but we're going to have, have those Pops coming in next week, which includes the black and white variant chase on those as well and we have like two uh black and white chases on each of those all right let's see what's in this box here i can't believe i've got as much stuff in these boxes as, as, as it seems to be because i looked there really isn't a whole lot of that stuff that's out but they they say it is Okay, we've got Batman, Batarang, Metal Bottle Opener. Let's see if I can... Can I open this? I cannot open this. I'll pull that off. So, we've got several of these Batarang Metal Bottle Openers. We've got these here. Uh, bottle Opener. Featuring Powerful Magnets. This is not a toy. Uh, excuse me. I will determine whether it's a toy or not. Hand wash only. Uh, we've got those. So stuff like this here, this uh, Iron Maiden pop, everything that you're seeing this week and the last week or so are not going to be eligible for any of the sales on free comic book day. That's a week from Saturday. Seems like it should have happened already, but it's a week from Saturday. Got this alien puzzle that they could have used. Of course, they probably they would have had to have paid the estate of H.R. Giger some money, so they had somebody new do a puzzle. Or that might, who knows, that might be um, might have been a promo. It might be part of the original Alien movie series, and I'm not aware of it because that does happen. Sometimes we are wrong. More iron. I got, I got plenty of these Iron Maidens. I can say, don't worry, but still get your butts in here. Another creature. I didn't know I got any more of these creatures, man. These things are like cockroaches. They keep showing up. Cockroach creatures. More of the Batarangs. More creatures. Holy Judas Priest, man. See what the hell that's in here oh these are the okay i'm gonna set i'm gonna i'm gonna pause the camera quickly and i'm gonna pull all those over here and we're gonna pop these open okay here's some of the stuff from that box see there's a promo poster for the new trailer park boys house of a thousand uh conkies uh coming out in june i will be ordering very 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 few of these because the previous trailer park boy series stunk up the place 
Uh, I know they've got a great fan following, but obviously they don't care about their comics. So I am not ordering many of those. So anyone interested, certainly let me know. I am not eating copies of this of this new series. No way. Uh, something else. I've got these here that are open. We'll pop those open in just a minute. We got in the Master of the Universe, the Revelation, the Power Sword, and Shield Metal Bottle Opener. So we've got that also that came in. And they don't show you an example of it opening um, bottles. Uh, but look, that is pretty damn cool if you're a, a He-Man fan. Uh, we've got... This is the Batarang Scaled Prop Replica, solid metal with display stand from a factory. Unfortunately, I cannot open this. Uh, it shows it on the back how it sits. Again, this is not a toy. I will determine whether it's a toy or not. But we've got the we've got these the scaled bat replica. Where does he get all these wonderful toys? He gets them from FactoryEntertainment.com. That's where he gets them from. And then via JC's Comics, some more your pop culture superstore. There's a grenade launcher or grapple launcher, scaled prop, solid metal. So you can use that grappling hook to uh, put a hole through somebody. Solid metal with display stand. Again, not a toy. I would determine that. Thank you very much. So we got, I've got two of the grappling launchers and I've got three of the batarangs in here. So they might not go very... They might not stick around very long. New uh, Halloween Kills. And also I see that there's a new uh, uh, Michael Myers 10-inch uh, Halloween figure coming out from Pops next week as well. But we're here we have Halloween Kills. Ultimate Michael Myers. And we'll have photos up on the shop's Facebook page at some point. And again, you can find the Facebook page. Uh, info in the description in the link below you can take find the link to the Facebook page He's got a baseball bat this time. He's got several knives. He's got a bloody knives and He cleaned one of his knives off looks like he has some sort of I don't know uh, Prod there or something and he's got bloody fingers, too So Michael Myers, you know, he's he's got somebody's Somebody's bloody head right there, too. Man, oh man, look at him. He's got a pry bar. He's ready to, to go to town on somebody. Steve Reich, up right beside their head. Oh yeah, by the way, this is Tuesday the uh, 26th. Okay, first up, we've got, there's a Conan the Barbarian war paint conan this is the one of the ultimate super sevens these things are like i want to say like 55 dollars each talk about eliminating plastic you can you guys can eliminate this plastic here you don't need to have this plastic if it's already inside a box i've got a good customer who's telling me that uh Hasbro is thinking about eliminating the plastic on the action figures where you can't, let's go over here real quick, so you can't see, it's not going to be something like this here, that they're eliminating the plastic. Let's go down to the Marvel figures here, that they're going to eliminate the plastic so you cannot see the figure. It's got a piece of cardboard there. You cannot see the figure. You cannot make sure that, say, if you buy your figures from, from Walmart or Target or some uh, some place like that, where people open up the figures, they take the Build-A-Figure parts back and they return them. You buy that thing, you may not be getting that. Who knows, you might not even be getting that figure right there. That's a really bad move. That's a really bad move. Eliminating the, uh, the plastic window there. I'm sorry. That's a bad, bad move there, Hasbro. You guys let me know. Have you heard anything about that? I haven't had a chance to go online and look yet. But he uh, he said he saw it when they were talking about the Star Wars figures. But here we go. We've got this Conan the Barbarian. It sort of has a leather feel to it. This is War Paint Conan. There he is, the Black Plowman himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Look at him. Christ, look at the size of that sword there. Man, you'll, you'll chop some heads off with that. You'll have them uh, put them on pikes and 
have the the women will be screaming your name. Conan, flip me your big sword. But there's that. So we've got that one there. And let's see what the other Conan one is. This one here is False of Doom, the demigod serpent. So we'll look at Mr. Doom. It comes in a sort of a green, like serpent skin, snake skin feel to it. Again, what a waste putting this plastic on there. The only thing that good plastic is good for is putting on your head and playing Johnny Spaceman. But here we have Thor Thulsa Doom, Demigod Serpent. Look at him. He does. He's got a serpent head. He's got several hands, daggers. He's got a snake. Very, 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 very 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 cool again we'll have photos of these on the uh, shops uh, Facebook page and again I have only one each of these available now this is Thundercats Lynx-O we'll put we'll pull links o out Pull this useless plastic off. There it is. Look at that nice metallic. Look there. I know Mr. Mr. Matt from Bowling Green is looking forward to this. We've got them in, Matt. There you go. There's Linkso. And I've got two of these, so we do have one extra Linkso. Very, very, very cool, dude. We'll make sure we have uh, your one set aside. And we'll have one available for sale. Okay. We're going to pause and I'm going to go to the next box. All right. See what's in this box. I mean, I know what's in this box. You don't. Know. Paper. We've got some pops. From Ghostbusters Afterlife podcast. So we've got that. So we're finally getting these in. Very timely pops. Hawkeye. Um, Maya Lopez. Very memorable character there. We've got Jordan Peele, director. We've got one of these available. We've got Lucky from Ghostbusters. More Ghostbusters. There's another podcast. Here's another Lucky. We got General Zoo. I mean, Zod, don't want to piss off uh, Putin. He might uh, try and cancel me. I'm going to pause the camera as we pull those two boxes out. Okay, let's see what we have here. We've got next Batman Future State. We've got General Zod. Let's get him cracked open. There he is, look at him. He looks like a Greek god. Not too happy looking. Zod. Zod! I'm just double check just to make sure there isn't any sort of variant on Mr. Mr. Odd. And there it is! There it is, see? He is a Greek god. He's in stone right there. Stoned Phillips. Been re-watching some uh, 
of uh, Third Rock from the Sun. And they got the, I don't know if you've ever seen it or not, very, very funny. God, it's so stupid funny. Um, but the, the big giant head, they're an aliens that have come here to, to check us out. And, and one of their leaders, his name is the big giant head. And they revealed who he was, or they had an actor playing. Of course, they had to have Kirk. Uh, William Shatner played the big giant head. As, as of course, he would, because he is the big giant head. And on Earth, he went by the name Stone Phillips. So funny. Jane Curtin, John Lithgow, Christian Stewart, uh, uh, Stuart French, or Christian Johnson, Stuart French, and uh, that uh, Tommy guy uh, who, was, uh, who was in the Batman film. Very, very funny stuff. Obscure references to bring up there. Anybody remember Third Rock from the Sun? Let me know in the comments below. I'm probably the only one. Here we have, again, we've got the next Batman. See, he's all covered up. He knows, he knows the cover, uh, all exposed skin. He's a smart Batman, unlike the uh, Bruce Wayne Batman. And I think these are all the same. I don't think there's any variants in these here. Let's just double check. Nope. And no. Nope. Okay. We also did get more of the Iron Maiden pops in. So, like I said, I got quite a few of those Iron Maiden pops. One of them's going to me, though. I'll tell you that much. Uh, then I got some of these, some of these dinosaurs. These, I believe, are blind bag dinosaurs from Japan and from F Toys. F Jackie. Who remembers F Jackie? We got a few dinosaurs there. They don't show you all of them. I wish they would. Let's crack. Let's open this up. Damn, look at them. They're in boxes. They're in little boxes. See, that's what I want. I want that Tyrannosaurus eating himself a duckbill dinosaur. That's what I want. Looks like there's looks like there's only five figures. So that's pretty good. I will crack these open up at some point. Uh, just because. Or let's just double check. No. No. See, I thought that maybe that was the one that was inside, but it is not. Okay, I'm going to pause. We're going to put these away. Man, sometime by the end of the day, I probably will open one of these. Probably. Okay, we've got uh, the Iron Maiden, the 8-inch clothed figure here. Ace is high, Eddie. And we did get more of the, uh, we did get more of the, uh, the Michael Myers uh, Ultimate Action Figure 2. So let's take a look at this up the irons Eddie. Greg grab the knife. Okay. And I'll also let you know, I know it's been a while since I bought a big collection, but you just never know. Maybe there will be a collection coming in later today. Uh Maybe it's going to be a really good collection. Maybe it's going to be... Hopefully it won't be a disappointment. Hopefully it's uh, going to be some good comics. But let's look at these Iron Maidens. Yes, I uh, have my phone off the hook because I get calls all the time. Of people automate calls wanting to sell your product. But here it is, Iron Maiden Eddie. Look at that. Look at him. God damn. Dang, man. Rivet dogs are going to be happy tonight. A couple of different Iron Maidens. He's got a pistol. Look at the look on his face. He's got a fully cloth outfit. Ace is freaking high, man. The only thing that would have made this better, these should have been open. Look at him. Based... Based on the artwork for Ace's High Signal. Now, who did that artwork? Shouldn't you say based on Derek Riggs? Because it's Derek Riggs. That's the man who did that artwork. 
Derek Riggs is the one who brought Eddie to life. It's Derek freaking Riggs, man. Give Derek some, uh, give him some love. But, we got one last item. Somebody, somebody is a very, very happy camper. He's been waiting on this for a while. Somebody. This is, uh, from IDW. Dave Stevens, the Rocketeer Artist Edition. Author Dave Stevens. On sale date 4 26 22, which is today. We're just going to open this up a little bit just so you can see. There it is Rocketeer Artist Edition, Dave Stevens. Mr. Joe, your Dave Stevens Rocketeer is here, sir. Sir, part of the 40th anniversary. I am not going to take it out. That's as far as it gets seen. That is up to him. That's his privilege to open that baby up and enjoy Dave Stevens' artwork in its in its boy in its in its full glory. So, if you guys do once again do enjoy these videos, be sure to please subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notification. Be sure to like comment share it helps the helps uh helps make sure that the videos get get shown get out there to the people and you know talk it up you know in these comic groups share it to these comic groups tell them about jc's comics some more tell them about how our comic selection is is unreal i had a uh, good customer in this weekend mr mark mr mark johnson brought his brother vincent and his girlfriend Danielle, who came from uh, Indianapolis, and he's just like, man, there's nothing like this back in Indianapolis. And I tell people all the time, this isn't like any comic shop. You know, certain shops may think they're the cat's uh, cat's meow and all that, but they're not. Sorry, you can't compete with me. You are not a you're you're a great comic shop, but you're not me. Doesn't matter where you're at in Northwest Ohio. You are not JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore. I mean, just on my wall right there, it's probably more key issues than every shop in town here has. That's not, uh, it's not just me blowing smoke. That's a fact, Jack. But again, I uh, hope you guys do like the videos, and once the Marvel videos, actually, we'll have the DC or my the rest of my Diamond videos. I'll have those out here pretty soon. I've got to go get those once I get pictures taken on this merchandise, and this video has been uploaded, and we'll then pull the rest of my Diamond product out. But thanks again. Have a great Tuesday, the last Tuesday of April.